Hi guys, welcome to Pencil College. In today's video, we'll be moving on to chapter 4.3 and we will be specifically learning about the remainder theorem. So here's a, here are the lesson objectives. We want to learn how to state as well as apply the remainder theorem. So what does the remainder theorem say? Remainder theorem states that if a polynomial fx is divided by a linear divisor x minus a, then the remainder is f of a. And if the divisor is ax minus b, then the remainder is f of b over a. Okay, I know this is very new and, you know, it's probably even confusing for some of you. So I'll probably use a numerical example to illustrate this. So suppose we have, suppose we say that fx is divided by x minus 2 for example then the remainder will be f of a okay the remainder of this of this division will be f of a and in this case a is 2 okay if we just look over here and over here we can see that a is 2 therefore f of 2 is the remainder Now, how about if f of x is divided by something that looks a little bit more complex? So let's say f of x is divided by 5x plus 7, okay, something more complex. Then, okay, in order to find our constant term over here, let me use a different color. Okay, it's okay. So let in order to find this we will first have to solve this exp this complicated ex expression over here by equating this to 0. Okay, so solving this, let me just show you how this is solved. So x is equals to negative 7 divided by 5, which is just this. Okay, then using this solution, we can say that f of negative 7 over 5 is the remainder okay so that's probably what you need to know for now okay in order to help you apply the remainder theorem and uh, with this let us look at some tangible examples so in example number one find the remainder when 4x cubed minus 5x plus 1 is divided by x minus 2 as well as x plus 3 so the first thing that I want to do is probably to let fx, okay, so I want to let fx be the given polynomial, which is this. Okay, now so in the first case, since we want the, div since the divisor is x minus 2, let us equate x minus 2 equals to 0. And solving this, we will arrive at x equals to 2. Okay, and therefore using what we have learned in the previous slide, we can say that f of 2 is the remainder, okay, is the remainder. So to find the remainder, we simply find f of 2. So, and how, how do we find f of 2? All we need to do is to substitute x equals to 2 into the given expression or the given polynomial. So f of 2 is simply substituting x equals to 2. Okay, so let me perform the substitution for you. So what I'm doing now here is to sub x equals to 2 into fx. So we do this by subbing x equals to 2 into fx. And if we were to simplify this, we will just arrive at 23. Okay, and therefore, 23 is just the remainder. That's it. One more example. So suppose x plus 3 is now the divisor. Then let's equate x plus 3 to 0. And we can solve that x is equals to negative 3. So in part b, we can now say that f of negative 3 is the remainder. Now, how do we find f of negative 3? We simply substitute x equals to negative 3 
into the given polynomial. Okay, so the given polynomial is here. And if we were to do that, we would just arrive at this working and simplifying this with the help of our calculator, we will just get negative 92. And therefore, the remainder when fx, which is this expression here, is divided by x plus 3, okay, the remainder is just negative 92. Now, I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos, please log on to pencilcollege.com. I'll see ya.